A tip number one for being a bricklayer, never trust the weather app. New window formed. As I say, now with a bit of head height to put curtains on the inside. We've brought the saw back with us. Still love that saw. There you go, look at that. That is plenty for like three jobs. <laughs> yeah, so you have a proper look now. So we're gonna get, see what how the bond works for here, and then any cuts that we'll need, we'll get them ready, so we can get them ready to go there. There we go. If I can get my English out, and the plan will be basically I'm gonna do that again, five courses up. Get that because once they're up with the trestles we're done with the trestles and then we can speak to robbie about his scaffold i think i've talked about this before but just in case the robbie scaffold or if that's not enough which hopefully it will be but worst case scenario we'll have to look into like a local scaffolder firm but there you go here's the new lintels it's a bit uh, easier to handle than most things but um yeah so that's our little plan and then Dad's going to get a few cuts ready for the porch because it doesn't work the same as this one because the windows are just ever so slightly different in size so it makes these a little bit different. There you go, that's the battle plan. It's like I'm just lifting them up onto the porch mates to get a bit of air circulated around them. I'm not going to be boots on yet. Be careful then. Even lean it against the wall, just like that, it's fine. Push the wire, that's it. That's it, just pull it back at the bottom so it's on the wall. Yeah, that's why we swap them half the weight and you can actually get hold of them get you, you pick them up and grab them so they're gonna they're, they're absolutely soaked so they're just hopefully they'll dry out a little bit like when the wing unless gets on like the block work hey unless it rains again oh yeah so um can we go back to the van mate while the van's open need to get that on charge i'm going to get my cutting station set up i'm going to get all the cuts done so that probably needs i suppose um I'll have a little measure up and see what we need anyway. I think there's probably another three courses to go on there. Two and a bit maybe. And obviously the uh, lintel and a course of brick over the top up to the soffit. So I'll, 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 I'm going to do all the planning and measuring. So I'll go and get my pencil. That's the porch finished on this side. Wall plates going directly on top of the block work. And then we're going to have a concrete lintel across the front and a pike. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to load this out. Work out one, two, three, four, five, six. That should work block. Six and a half block exactly. Fingers crossed. We should be good. Then all we're doing is cutting halves then. Have the keys please. Oops. Yeah. So that's going to be busy. Can you get me a pencil please mate? And a nice since we're not getting the tools out. And a two foot level. So yeah, nice solid job as you can see. Uh, all the inside is going to be studding, which it is anyway, but it's going to be new studding with insulation in it because none of this was insulated. So it's going to be a nice job when it's all rendered up and done. It's going to look nice. Uh, with grey windows, these two windows that are getting reused are going to get painted to match the grey windows. Get a bit of planning done.
that works six and a half block. Bang on. So, that saves us a lot of saw cutting. All I have to do is just give them a few trims with the brick hammer. So, happy days. All I have to do is load 32 block up there and that's me, and that's that trestle lift sorted. And then we've got another two course, two full courses, and roughly about 100mm cut on top to, to window height. And an 800mm window, 810 and we've got our little intro going in and of course a brick over the top. So we've got like a little over the top for the kittens. There's all our off cuts. Shame we can't use these, but customers kindly moving these away for us. So there's that little checklist. And here's the results. So we've got quite a few cuts here. I think the I think these are all for both sides, I think. I think he's getting all the cuts ready for up to window height, I think. I think. And then I've just moved all the blocks around and stacked them. Stacked them up. Which um, I've just realised covering them up in a full sheet like this isn't uh, a bit pointless because I've stacked them like that so the wind will get through them. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll change that covering now. But yeah, so there's our little progress update. I think um, how many cuts have you got left, Dad? I need three more full blocks. How many? Three more full blocks. Three. Five cuts. I need three more blocks. Right. Well, there you go. So get these last three cuts and then we'll get a little sort out. Beth are covered up, <laughs> lintels are covered up, cuts are done, that's a little checklist. Is that for, like, cement under these sand? It's complete. That's just uh, informing me. Yeah, got the sand cement in the porch. That's covered up, they're covered up. That's uh, not bad. So now, obviously, we'll be here back, we'll be back here Saturday, and we shall hope that the weather is behaving itself. It says it will, so fingers well, it crossed. It says it will a lot of the times, it doesn't. Exactly. Uh, uh, tip number one for being a bricklayer, never trust the weather app. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be us for today. Well, at least we've got something done. We managed to get some use out of this day despite the weather. A more set up. But yeah, we will catch you on Saturday. Good, beautiful Saturday the 16th. Saturday the 16th. So, we stacked all the blocks the other day when we didn't get anything done, we just got ourselves organised so they've all dried out nicely. Now all my cuts are done there ready for the porch. So while I'm doing the porch, I'll just hopping up here and getting this up to there. And then we've been to see Robbie yesterday and borrowed his scaffold which is a lot better than ours. A lot more substantial. We can get up higher with it and we'll be able to get handrails on it so <clears throat> we won't be taking any more risks like we did in the last one where we were justifiably crucified in the comments. But we just had to manage what we had so this time we made sure we got better stuff so this is pretty straightforward for Alex all nice and solid that side of the porch is finished just got the lintel and the pipe and stocked up on tyres so we've got 50 screw tyres and 100 and odd loops so we've got plenty to be going on with That's Alex so yeah we're ready to go I'll get uncovered. Alex is all set up here. Yeah, let's do this. Alex got the mix in. Just give that rim and scrape with the shell, mate. I've got the six foot level and I've levelled across to um, transfer the level, obviously. So there's my line now. 
I'm going to transfer the line down to the existing bit work. Then we check 100. So let me show you. One meter one hundred. Gauge is one one two five. So that brick work is twenty five mil high. We're never going to bed twenty five mil out of five courses because these are difficult to bed down as it is. So I'm just going to put the four on and then cut the top one. Or laser measure. So I said to Alex, what we'll do is when we get when we start on there, we'll put that on top on top of there. And we'll fire the laser up to the top of the to the bottom of the soffit both sides and that'll give us a measurement from that block work to that soffit and that way we can take 150 off of the lintel 810 for the window and that'll give us the distance left to build the block work up so we've got a nice accurate measurement and um, yeah that's it we can't really put the laser level up there because we can't get the laser high enough so yeah we're going to use that went to a fancy bit of footage for this in the last video and uh, we'd let the batteries run out so we couldn't show it <laughs> so there we go I'm 875 millimeters from that wood so we'll come to that later so once that mixture's ready I can get cracking on here Alex can hop up there and we, can get, we can have a good day oh What are you doing? He's probably eating all the chocolate bombs, I'm guessing. I've had a couple of custard creams. He's uh... a bit all the rich teas. What have you? Oh, cool, because I don't like them. Me and Peter K, not, not impressed with rich teas. But Alex loves them. Sweet. Right, that's done. There's my cuts already. Brought the saw back with us. Still love that saw. I'm um, going to put the batteries on charge. Got plenty of charge left in one of the batteries, and Alex is cracking on. I've done corners, tell him. Because this side I could get um, a line up, but that side I've not really got much. Too many telephone room. wires and stuff are a bit busy, so. So I thought if I do a corner, I can now just put my line up and put me in now. Yeah, the inside, tr the inside stood stuck out in a couple of places, same as that side. So that's all been trimmed back. And now you can just whack it in. And the also, the also thing with building corners is you are actually building block work when you're building the corner, so it's not too bad. 
So th there's my four cuts for my top of my porch and then that's ready for the lintel and the pike but that, that'll be getting done when this lot's ready finished with so that's going to be fun setting this lot up over here but um, we'll manage like we always do or we could just take that back with us and bring the little our little tower we could even just use one of Robbie's towers turns out it sets up yeah, yeah. so yeah um, plenty to go at so Alex is gone with that I'm getting um, a mix in now we're doing a half mix of this time, so we're just not ended up with loads left over. So cuts for... Uh, how much more have you got, Al? Hmm? Do you need the mix first? I've got a bucket full yet. Okay. Just right. get the point in done. Quick. Actually, I'll get the mixing, and while it's mixing, I'll do the cuts. Time management. Right, catch you in a bit. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to part two. <laughs> um, just had our lunch and we are now ready to take over this the scaffold that has been provided to us by Rob the Robbies, so thank you very much. Hopefully this will get us to where we need to go up on that other side, which you can just about see over there. We're going to be on that side, as I mentioned before. And uh, yeah, it's started to rain even though the weather app said it wasn't going to, so another win for the weather app. Useless. But yeah, I will um, grab some of this scaffold now and get it brought over there ready to set up, and hopefully it works so we can get some block work done. Fingers crossed. So we'll see you over there. There you go, we have a super safe scaffold this time, don't we? Thanks to the Robbies lending us this one. It's perfect for this size. It's slightly narrow for that one, but we'll, we'll should be alright. And uh, customer Brian has lent us his outriggers, so this is going nowhere. It's a perfect height. I just need to go back home and get one more plank to get the full width. We've got a, a frame on each side, there's a handrail at the top. We've also got a straight edge there, which we're going to slot in the top as a handrail at the back. So we're fully handrailed in. Outriggers on, all nice and steady and flat on flat ground. And um, I'll show you what I've just been doing. I'm going to strap this to the planks as well. So off we get. Still another plank going in there. So there's our handrail. So we're coming in at this height. Like I said, we're putting a lintel in the top here so there's a head height. I think of hand curtains at the back, they're going to finish that in stud at the back and the side. I've just stitch drilled this, this first one, 260, that's split, and we're just going to do the brick next. That's our pocket for our lintel, same as below. Then uh, plenty more to left, so we've got uh, probably two courses and a bit left to go on here. And then it's halves again, tied in every course, and then plunk the lintel on. And it's just a, a course split across the top, 
and it's uh, just gets put in level under that. This is all getting replaced with, with, with dark grey. So we don't have to point it or anything, we just plonk it in. So I'm just going to um, get this little bit done, nip on for the uh, other plank so we've got full width and then we can just look at that. Oh, let's just pass that straight edge of mate. I'll just demonstrate. This will work better when we've got five planks. Cable ties on that, jobs are good. And, like I say, another plank, and then the ladder will go out onto the plank. Then, so a lot safer than last time, and a lot, uh, a lot nicer to work on too. Al, what do you think about the trestles? Should we keep them for the porch or use this stuff? Let's use that stuff, I reckon. Yeah. Wider, isn't it? So we'll go we'll close. Should go just about go over all these pile beds. Yeah, it'll, st it'll stretch over rather than having one right in the middle, won't it? What do you think? Should we take them back to the van then? Can do. You grab two, I'll grab one, and then um, I'll go and get this plank. I'll just finish doing stitch drilling this out, and then Alex is going to do the cuts for me. Oh yeah, I'm going to work out the height of this window before I do that, so um, bear with me. I've just had a little discussion, and uh, things have changed slightly. <laughs> so, this is the amount of working to now, so the, water, the wind is being dropped, which means our lintel comes to here now. Which means we put our lintel in and it's a full course of block straight over the top. That's it. And then down here, <coughs> we've got a full course and then a 165 cut to get us to window height. Then, so that's filled in there and then it, it, over there at the halves and then the lintel. So I need to go and get this plank and we need to get cracking. I'll just get this, this out. Let's pocket this out now. It's just, we're just going for that lintel now. So just slide it in, leave all this in. So there you go. Just need one more tie out, please. What? One more tie. So, you put this in there on the time lapse then, the lintel's in. I'm going to put one more screw tie in here, and I'll just cut my pieces and brought them up, so it's just a piece across the top, which we don't actually do anything with, because the new, new soffit, soffit is going to sit on this, so we don't have to point it or anything, we just put it in, which is a lot easier for us. 
So I'm just getting one more screw down here. I'm going to put a piece of brick in here. I'm going to run those pieces across the top and go home. Ready to come back tomorrow. Right. If you wait there, I'll give you the drill. That's the first time I've ever run the battery out. That's just run all day, that drilling holes all day. Without being changed. Just gone. Yeah. First time it's gone. Thank you, mate.
line on the porch. Yeah. 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 There you go, 5% left on the camera so I better make this quick, done, new window formed, as I say, now with a bit of head height to put curtains on the inside, wind has been dropped on the inside as well because apparently they're very high up when you stand inside, so um, yeah, that's both, this, that's this side finished, complete, sorry about the wind, nice bit of cutting from Alex. And a nice bit of labouring from Alex too up down that ladder for me. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get on that tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, Monday.